Hello everyone and welcome to the St. Louis Four School Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we have six different colleges presenting for six minutes each. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. <clears throat> you can use the Q&A button on your screen at any time to type questions to our presenters. Your camera and microphone are off so our panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so please be sure to sign up for more. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com backslash St. Louis for school. And with that, I'll turn it over to our first presenter, Southeast Missouri State University. Hi all, let me get my screen shared. Alrighty, can you see my screen okay? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Is it my full screen? It is. Okay, wonderful. Well, hi everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight for the six by six um, virtual college panel. My name is Emily Sox and I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Southeast Missouri State University. Um, CMO is what we sometimes call ourselves for short, is located in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. So we're located halfway between St. Louis and Memphis. And at CMO, we're a medium-sized school, so we have about 10,000 students that attend here. I always say it's a small enough campus to where your faculty members will know you by your first name, but it's a large enough campus to where you'll have a lot of um, opportunities to meet new people and have new experiences. And the Cape Girardeau population is about 40,000 people. So this means that we're a small enough city that you can easily and drive and park around town, but you're only minutes away um, from like a mall in case you need any last minute dorm essentials, um, especially when you start moving in on campus. We're also a division one school and compete in the Ohio Valley Conference Championships. Um, last year in the 2019-2020 um, school year, we won the OVC Championships in five of our 13 sports. So we won in men's football, women's volleyball, women's softball, women's soccer and women's basketball. And in addition um, to athletics, we have an entire campus dedicated to the arts. So the River Campus is the only campus in the state of Missouri that's dedicated and accredited in art, music, dance, and theater. Our musical theater program was named one of the top 30 programs in the nation on OnStage's um, blog in 2019. And at this River Campus, it's really unique because we have housing, dining, large performance venues, small practice rooms, fitness facilities, and more at this location. And then as you can see on the screen here, um, we have 145 different areas of study. Yes, on this slide, um, 145 different areas of study. And they range from business to computer science, to cybersecurity, education, and mass media. Um, nursing and fine arts are also popular as well. And if you're not sure what you wanna study yet, that's totally okay, because we have career counselors who can help you explore your options. We also have 25 national accreditations and a 100% nursing um, exam pass rate. And we have this saying at CMO called find your flock. So that's the slide that I'm on now, which means that we wanna help you find people um, that will help you succeed both in college and once you graduate. So we have nearly 300 different clubs and organizations um, for you to meet other people and make these connections in college. We also have Harry Potter Club, we have Running Club, and a cyber defense team, which by the way, this February, we won our ninth consecutive state cyber defense competition. And about half of our students participate in some type of intramural um, here at SEMO. Some of my favorite club sports include scuba diving, badminton, basketball, baseball, and archery. We also have an esports team um, that has nearly 300 members, and this club was launched in 2019 and they now have nine competitive teams. So we have a League of Legends team, Overwatch, Fortnite, Call of Duty, and more. Um, and at CMO, we have 23 different Greek life organizations and around 17% of our students are associated with a Greek life organization. During the 2019 Greek week, the CMO Greeks raised over $40,000 for local nonprofits. There are many ways um, you can get, have the opportunity to give back to the community um, through Greek life. And in Cape Girardeau County and at SEMO, there's many places to live and eat. On campus, we have 18 different resident halls and we have 16 different dining venues. Um, they range from Chick-fil-A, Pan Express, Starbucks, Subway, and more. Um, and in our resident halls, we also offer a pet-friendly dorm. So you can have the opportunity to bring your dog or your cat on campus if you want. 
Um, and during the typical year, we also offer many different study abroad opportunities. So at SEMO, um, usually there's a wide variety of 70 different places that you can study and take courses at. Some of those trips are about a week long and then other ones are about as long as an academic um, school year. And then um, we're also very proud of our affordability. So currently at SEMO, we're one of the most affordable public institutions in the state of Missouri right now. And we offer many different automatic scholarships. This year, um, we've adopted a lot of our test optional scholarships, which means that students can receive up to $4,000 automatically without even taking a test score or submitting a um, standardized test score. And uh, our, both our Copper Dome and Residence Life Leadership Award can be renewed at SEMO um, every single year for up to four years with a 3.0 GPA and full-time student status. So these scholarships also increase in price while you stay at SEMO. And just recently, as of last month, um, our scholarship deadline has been extended to June 1st. So that means that it's not too late to apply and receive scholarships for the fall 21 semester and that we would still be super excited um, to read your applications and um, offer you those scholarships that are automatically awarded as well. We also have our Will to Do Award. Um, this is a financial aid based scholarship that provides students with free tuition and general fees all four years at SEMO. Um, and to qualify for this, incoming freshmen must be a Missouri resident, have a 2.75 high school GPA, and be a federal Pell Grant eligible student. And currently, about 40% of our students here at SEMO are Pell Grant eligible. Similar to the Copper Dome and the Residence Life Leadership Award, um, like I said, you can renew this, and that's kind of how well to do is too. As long as you maintain that criteria and have a 2.75 high school GPA and SEMO GPA, you can receive this up to four years at SEMO. Um, we also offer many different services for free. As you can see, we have a writing lab, a tutorial lab, um, accessibility services, which provides counseling, and a shuttle that takes students on and off campus, and so much more. We provide these services because we truly care about you and your success. We also have a unique textbook rental system. Um, this is a great way that you can save money, and you can rent all your uh, courses, all your books, for $36 per course. So that means if you ever have like a biology class that requires multiple textbooks, you only have to pay the $36. All right, and then if all this sounds good to you, I would encourage you um, to apply at cmo.edu slash apply. As you can see, um, our application is still open for the fall 21 school year. And if you are an incoming, um, if you're a junior now and incoming in fall 22, our application will open up on June 1st. That means you can actually apply starting this summer. And as you can see, it's free to apply on a $0 application fee, and you can self-report your GPA and your standardized test score if you've had the opportunity to take a standardized test. Um, and we look forward to seeing you soon on campus. We are offering on-campus visits right now. Um, you can schedule that at cmo.edu slash visit. And um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys tonight. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Park University. Alrighty, so I hope everyone can see me. Um, good evening, my name is Angela Mancuso and I am coming from Park University. Um, just a little background about me. Um, I am the college relations manager at the university. So I do all the recruiting and all the enrollment and just the fun stuff. Um, I am a two-time graduate of the university. I graduated back in 2015 with an undergrad and then I graduated this past 2020 um, with a master's degree. So um, I love Park and I'm super hopeful that you guys will as well. <clears throat> All right, so Park University was funded in 1875, and we are a four year private nonprofit co education liberal arts institution. And we have degree programs that are fully accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. We have three schools. Um, I'm actually recruiting out of the home campus, which is in Parkville, Missouri. We have 40 plus majors and 30 plus minors. 
Our location, so Park University is just 10 minutes northwest of downtown Kansas City, Missouri. Um, so if you're familiar with Kansas City, we are literally just 10 minutes from there. So you kind of get the city vibe, but we are tucked back in kind of like a country vibe. So you get the best of both worlds. Personal service. So coming into Park University, you will be assigned a dedicated first year mentor, a professional success advisor, a full time faculty advisor, academic support and career development all for free. A quick little um, introduction of what each one is. Um, a dedicated first year mentor is going to be like your first friend on campus. It's going to be someone who shares some kind of interest, um, whether it be your major athletics or just um, something outside of that. Your professional success advisor is going to be your advisor who enrolls you in your classes and makes sure that you're kind of on track, going to class, passing your class and not having any problems. Your full-time faculty advisor is going to be an advisor actually in your degree program who um, can kind of help you just do anything, any questions you have answered. Academic support is going to be the tutoring, um, anything that you need help with from writing a paper to studying for a test, math, anything, all that is free for our students. And then career development is going to be the, the center that helps you with resume writing, writing that cover letter, helping you get that internship and actually helping you get a fir your first job. Um, Park University does require an internship for all majors now um, before graduation. So that's where that career development center can really help you out. We are an extremely small school. So our student to faculty ratio is going to be 16 to one. We have about 450 that live on campus and then about 1500 that commute. Study abroad. So we do offer study abroad. Obviously right now with COVID, we are not offering that, but we are hopeful it will be back soon. So we have 60 programs and we take, we send the students to 30 plus different countries. Uh, you guys can read those countries, but you're actually receiving credit when you're over in that country that goes towards your degree. We send students over for uh, semesters at a time, um, spring break, summer break, or just two weeks at a time. Campus life. So PARC offers a student organization for every interest. If we don't have it, you can come start it. As long as you have three other students that are interested in, in it as well. Um, like I said, we have 50 plus different clubs. Park Athletics, so we are in the NAIA division. We have 14 sports for men and women. Um, something unique about Park University is that we actually offer uh, the JV sports as well as our varsity sports. So that's something unique that we love that um, hasn't been around for too long. So we can offer more scholarship opportunities for our student athletes. Living on campus. So compared to students who live at home, students who choose to live on campus actually achieve higher grade point averages, they graduate faster, they enjoy a wider network of friends, and they just become more connected with the really important resources on campus and also just in our community. As you can see on the screen, we have two different dorms. I won't get too in depth in these, um, but we have Copley Quad Residence Hall and we have Chestnut Residence Hall. Copley Quad is going to be more like an apartment style, whereas Chestnut's gonna be more of your traditional dorm. Those Chestnut was just redone three years ago and Copley Quad was just built in 2008. Park is offering on-campus visits. So if you're interested in living on campus, we will take you on in so you can get a better feel for it. We do not require freshmen to live on campus, but as long as you live 50 miles from the university, um, you, you can live at home. Affordability. So the national average uh, for tuition and fees is about $32,340. Park University for our 2020-2021 academic year, our tuition was $13,110. That is being a full-time student taking 30 credit hours. Uh, Park University is the number one most affordable private institution in the Midwest, and we rank number seven nationally for the most uh, affordable private institution, and that is coming from the U.S. News and World, World Report, and we take a ton of pride in this and making it extremely affordable for our students. Scholarship opportunity. So we have three different sets of scholarships for our freshmen. We have the first time freshman merit based scholarship. Once you put your application in and we receive those transcripts, if you meet the requirements, we just give you that scholarship. It is good for five years at Park University. And then our pirate achievement scholarships is going to range from $1,000 to $2,000. Um, and that's going to be um, if a student um, expresses a financial need. So it's not going to be based off any kind of GPA. It's going to be just based off what you need. 
And then um, competitive scholarships is going to be just for um, freshmen as well. So if you uh, meet those requirements, then you um, come up to campus and we kind of do a, um, a um, interview day with you. And then it looks like I'm out of time. So um, I will put my contact information in the chat. And if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is William Woods University. Hi, everybody. Can you see my screen okay? Yes. Awesome. So my name is Edie Thibodeau, and I am an admissions rep at William Woods University. Um, William Woods is a small private university. Um, we are located in Fulton, Missouri, which is about 20 minutes from Columbia, 20 minutes from Jeff City, and about an hour and a half from St. Louis. So um, you get the, the, if you like to be a big fish in a small pond, this is the place for you. Um, we have approximately 800 to 1,000 traditional students that live on campus. Um, we also have um, online students and graduate students, which brings our total up to 2,000. As I stated, it's a small university with a um, student-teacher ratio of 13 to 1. So it's a place where people are really going to get to know you by name. Um, there's tons of clubs, 54 clubs, um, lots of ways um, student government to get involved, um, have leadership skills, which are great resume builders for you. We're a professions oriented degree program. So those we're working for those degrees that are gonna give you a professional um, career when you leave. We have over 60 majors and minors. Some things that are unique about us, we do have an equestrian science major, American sign language, which interpreting, um, also business, education, biology, um, and pre-vet as well. Our education is rated number three in the state of Missouri. So it's an awesome program. And we have students from all over the US, 35 countries and 17, or 35 states and 17 countries, excuse me. Um, some things that we have there, we have Woods Around the World, which is an opportunity to study abroad. We have career services, which works with you with internships and job placement which are very high with our college. Um, we have a great alumni system that gives us lots of connections. Um, we have Freshman Advantage where you can come to school for three weeks prior um, to the start of your freshman year and get a taste and get two classes out of the way plus your freshman orientation. Um, and we also have plus one programs. So we have several programs where you can stay a fifth year and walk away with your undergraduate degree as well as your master's degree, which is awesome. We are NAIA Division I Athletics. There are scholarships available with these programs and um, we do very, very well um, in our, our baseball's top notch, our golf, track and field, um, so really all of them. Um, we do very well on the national level. Um, if you want to get involved with sororities and fraternities, we do have that system. We have four national sororities, three national fraternities. Again, great way to build leadership skills. They're also very um, involved with philanthropic activities, which again are great um, resume builders as well. Um, here's some of the 54 clubs that we have. Almost every major has a club. Um, we also have honorary in, um, clubs as well. Something that's unique to William Woods is our LEAD Award. So this is a $5,000 scholarship that every student involved um, gets when they come to campus, and it rewards student involvement. So basically, you attend events to try and get, um, we want you to be very well-rounded and prepared for the outside world. So it might be going to an art show, a horse show, um, going to watch a basketball game. We bring in lots of speakers. Um, and sometimes it's something as simple as checking out a bike and going on a bike ride. But we want people to be well-rounded, have lots of talking points. And as long as you do basically an event a week, um, you get the $5,000. Our students love it. It's very much 
um, part of our the feel of our campus. Um, we have scholarships available to 100% of our students. With the lead, we have merit scholarships that start at $12,500 as well. Um, some of the other scholarships would be with the honors program, um, athletic awards and diversity and multicultural scholarship as well. Our admissions requirements, it's a free online application. As long as you have a 2.5 GPA or greater, we are test optional at this point. Um, it's not too late to apply if you're a senior and you can start applying as soon as you have completed your junior year and you can send us your application, you can get admitted for 22 as well. Um, basically, you're just going to send us your um, application, your FAFSA, and we'll be able to work up a scholarship for you um, with your transcript. Um, there's um, a couple pictures of some other reps that are with us. I have Eastern Missouri, Spencer as Western Missouri, and Kaylee's in the middle. Um, this is a place if you want to um, be a big, like I said earlier, be a, a big fish in a small pond. You can really um, get involved, um, do a lot of things, double major, get out early. The sky is kind of the limit. Our, our faculty works with our students and every one of our um, professors, our full-fledged professors, you'll never have a teaching assistant, um, which is another um, nice perk of our professors. And um, thank you guys very much. Thank you. Our next presenter is the University of Missouri, Kansas. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is um, Lorena Juanes. Um, I'm an admissions counselor at UMKC. Um, and uh, before I get started, um, I don't typically work with students from St. Louis, but we do have a, a new hire, my colleague, Hannah. Uh, I'll let her introduce herself and then I'll give the presentation. Hi, everyone. My name is Hannah Shackles. I am a new admissions counselor at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. I am the St. Louis area representative from Kansas City. So I will be putting my contact in for an admissions representative from your area. So I look forward to meeting you all and I hope you like the presentation. Sorry about that, I got it together now. Um, so yes, I am uh, representing UMKC or University of Missouri, Kansas City. Um, we are in a city, so it feels like the city is our campus as well. Um, I'll talk about more about what that looks like. Um, and let's go. So we do um, have over 125 majors um, and you can see the, the whole list here. Uh, but let's say you're looking at that and you say, I have no clue what I want to do. All of this is overwhelming. That is totally okay. I personally changed my major about three, four times. So that's that's totally okay. We do have what we call university college, uh, which is for uh, undecided students that we help um, um, have them and connect them uh, so that they are able to figure out what it is that they want to study. We do have a couple of Competitive admission, such as our big, uh, one of our big ones is our six year medical program, uh, where you get your um, undergraduate and medical degree in six years. Uh, it is highly competitive. So um, definitely look into that if you're interested. We do have a conservatory. Those require a little bit more uh, requirements, such as an interview and an audition. Um, moving along. Um, so a little bit more about UMKC, our total po student population is about 16,000. That is inclusive of our graduate student population. 
Um, so about 7,000 of those students are undergraduate students. Um, like I said, over 125 majors, our student to faculty ratio is 15 to one. And we have over 300 um, different student um, organizations and we are technically compromised of two separate um, campuses. Our first, our main one being our Volcker campus. And then we also have our health science campus, which is um, typically where a lot of our health science students will be. So um, it is really, really close to our uh, Truman Medical Center, Children's Mercy, um, and our School of Dentistry is also down there as well. We are a division one um, school. So our biggest sports are soccer and um, basketball. A uh, really cool thing about being a UMKC student is that you are able to um, attend these sporting events free of charge as long as you have your student ID. So I think that's super awesome. Um, perk for all students. Um, so a little bit more about our community. Uh, we do have a 40% diversity rate. Um, if it is, if diversity is important to you, like it is to me, um, although that doesn't sound like the greatest number, I will say it is, it is higher um, than other universities. I, it is actually the reason why I chose to work at UMKC because I was able to see not only students that look like me and, and but also faculty and staff um, where I was able to feel celebrated and recognized and um, not um, put aside. Uh, we also have uh, multiple LGBTQI support services. Um, and then a little bit back about our students, about 1200 of our students do live in, on campus. It is not required. However, studies do show that you are more likely to have a higher GPA if you do live on campus. We do have an honors program. And then a little bit, um, let me backtrack with um, housing. You're not required to live on campus. Um, however, there are certain scholarships and programs such as a six year medical program or a scholarship such as our trustee scholars do require you to live on campus. So I would encourage you to double check with any programs or scholarships that you're interested in to see if they do require you to live on campus. So um, here on your screen, you'll be able to see um, the different types of criteria we have um, for freshmen and transfer students on how to um, apply to UMKC. I do wanna mention this test, op test optional admission where all you need is a 2.75 core GPA. That is separate, different from overall GPA. So um, please um, make sure you're looking at that. Um, I will say that this is a really great option for students who um, maybe can't take the ACT or SAT. And we also know there's lots of different barriers to um, different students uh, when it comes to standardized testing um, that your score may or may not reflect who you really are and what capabilities you do have. Um, so that's why we have the test optional option for students. And then again, these are different requirements that we uh, require from students when applying. I'm going a little bit fast. However, um, you can always um, ask in the chat um, a little bit more about our tuition rates. Um, this is our for in-state tuition. Um, I will say um, definitely double check. There are some programs such as a six-year medical program that have a little bit of different um, price. Um, however, generally, this is our price for, uh, for, a to for one year and it is based off of cre um, 15 credit hours, semester one, semester two. Um, so that is our uh, tuition rates. Um, again, like I mentioned earlier, you're not required to live on campus, but it is highly encouraged because again, those studies do show you might more likely to have a higher GPA. We do have two different types of residence halls. Uh, we have a four person suite. This is a plan uh, with a, um, uh, this is the price for a four person suite. And then we also have hospital hill apartments where you get your own bedroom, own bathroom, uh, but you do share a kitchen and the living room. Those are for upper um, reserved for upperclassmen. Um, so once you hit that second year, you're able to apply lots of students who are closer to um, in the health sciences field um, do live on those. However, you're not required to be in the health science field in order to live on that campus. Um, we do have a couple of different visit options. Um, we have in-person and virtual different room visits uh, where you can get an on-campus tour. Um, you get a presentation um, from an admissions counselor such as myself and then a tour by a um, current student ambassador. Um, so there's are different ways to um, connect uh, with us. And then before I let you guys go, um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us here. Um, and we're more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Fantastic. Our next presenter is Missouri University of Science and Technology.
Hi, my name is Janice Jones, and I am the Assistant Director for St. Louis and Diversity Recruitment for Missouri University of Science and Technology, also known as Missouri s &T. We are located in Rolla, Missouri. Rolla is located halfway between St. Louis and Springfield. Rolla is a community of about 20,000 residents with another 50,000 or so that come from neighboring communities for shopping, dining, and entertainment. Rolla has nearly 300 acres of parks, uh, city parks. So if you are interested in uh, doing things outdoors, so zip lining, cave exploration, fishing, anything outdoors, Rolla may be a good fit for you. Missouri s and has about 8,000 students. Uh, so combined with the 20,000 residents, uh, just under about 30,000 in the city of Rolla. So this year we are celebrating 150 years, which is something we are extremely proud of. And with that has come a number of rankings. Uh, we are often ranked uh, in the top for public engineering universities and also Missouri institutions. Another ranking uh, that we do have is number eight, University in the Nation for Annual Return on Investment. Um, this is something that's important to us. Our average starting salary for our students is just over $67,000 a year across all of our disciplines. So our students are coming out with a four-year degree making just over $67,000 a year. Many of those students also receive signing bonuses. Um, employers come from all across the country to hire Missouri s and students. One of our alumni, Fred Kummer and his wife, recently donated $300 million to Missouri s and This represented the largest single gift in the history of Missouri higher education. So not just the largest gift to Missouri s and but to any Missouri institution. Um, the gift established a School of Innovation, Entrepreneurship and Economic Development, faculty positions, scholarships, um, so lots of different things came from that donation. Missouri s and we have over 100 different degree programs for our students to choose from. Um, they're divided into two divisions. The first is our College of Arts, Sciences and Business or CASPI as we call it. This is gonna be things like biology and chemistry, history, physics, psychology. Um, it's also gonna include teacher certification at the elementary, middle school and secondary levels. Uh, and also pre-professional tracks. So for students who are interested in going on to law school and medical school. However, we're probably best known for our College of Engineering and Computing. We have over 15 different engineering degrees alone at Missouri s and Each one of these degrees also has a number of emphasis areas. So this is going to be those engineering degrees that you're used to hearing about. So civil engineering, uh, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, but it's also gonna be those that maybe you haven't heard about. So ceramic engineering, petroleum and nuclear engineering. We also have a number of minors, including biomedical engineering, explosive engineering, humanitarian engineering. So if you are interested in engineering, Missouri s and likely has a program for you. Our students study a lot, but when they are not studying, we have over 250 student organizations for students to participate in. So we have 19 different design teams. So this is gonna be things like Mars Rover and Concrete Canoe. We are NCAA Division II Athletics. We do have a football team. We have intramural and club sports, Greek life, study abroad, research opportunities, theater, band, orchestra. So lots of opportunities for our students. Applying to Missouri s and is pretty simple. You can apply from our website, apply.mst.edu or uh, via the Common App. You need to submit your high school transcripts and you choose to uh, apply with or without a test score. So we accept both ACT and SAT. For students applying for both fall of 2021 and fall of 2022, we are test optional. So you tell us if you want to apply with a test. Our students are automatically considered for scholarships, uh, regardless if they submit a test score or not. They typically start with a 24 or higher ACT and range from about $3,000 to $7,000 a year. Our Chancellor Scholarship is one of our most prestigious in-state scholarships. It's worth $12,000 and renewable for four years. 
We also have an entire scholarship database with hundreds of scholarships. It allows you to create a profile and easily apply to multiple scholarships. Again, I'm Janice Jones. I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can call me, um, email me, text me, all of that good stuff. Uh, and we encourage you to follow us on social media. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. We do have a little extra time here. So I'm going to actually ask uh, the presenters to maybe turn back their cameras on and we'll do just a little quick round robin here. What advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll start at the top then with uh, Southeast Missouri State University. My piece of advice is to talk to a current student. Um, so if you don't have the opportunity to visit campus, um, talk to a current student and say, what do you like about the university? What do you not like about the university? Awesome, that's great advice. So my advice um, would be to all students to make sure that you are doing your campus visits, um, visiting all the campuses that you're interested in going to. Um, when you're on there, talk to current students, um, make sure they have your degree. And then uh, last, really ask those scholarship questions to your counselors to make sure that you are getting um, the best bang for your buck, essentially. Thanks again. Hi everyone. Okay, so my advice would be to, um, if at all possible, visit the schools that you're looking at. I think it's really important to get a feel for the campus, make sure you feel at home. Um, I know on our, we are open for visits and our, our visits, we also have you talk with a professor in the area that you are interested in studying. Um, so you can ask those kind of questions about how the program runs. Um, make sure it's a good fit for you. And you can also ask them those questions about internships and jobs afterwards. Um, and also to look at the finances because every school lays their finances out a little bit differently and make sure that you're looking at every single cost um, to make sure you're really comparing apples to apples. And don't make any assumptions that for instance, a public school is gonna always be cheaper than a private school. Um, that's not necessarily true because of scholarships and aid that's out there. So just um, really look at the details so you get the full picture. I would say my biggest piece of advice for college search, uh, the college search process for students is is before you start the process, kind of start thinking about what you're looking for in a college, whether maybe the major that's offered, uh, kind of start to narrow down that list so that whenever you do start visiting colleges, you can go to the ones that have what you're looking for and narrow it down from there. So I think it's really important to think about what you want and what you're looking for in your college experience that makes it unique to you. And again, if you're able to uh, visit those campuses, that's great, but just looking into those programs and the different things you might be looking for on that campus is really important. I would say, um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, every university is different, even though we have similarities. Um, so please feel free to reach out to us anytime and ask questions. Also, this is your opportunity to step outside of your comfort zone. Um, so um, don't be afraid uh, to reach out to schools that maybe you never even dreamed of or never even heard of for that matter. Um, so um, I just encourage you to just push forward and um, ask questions. Thank you so much to all of you for all those really great pieces of advice and for all of your wonderful presentations. Uh, to our students and families who are here tonight, again, thank you so much for joining us. Sorry, let me just jump through the rest of my presentation here. Oh, hold on. Of course, it doesn't wanna work for me. Okay, sorry. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, 
After I sign us out here, there'll be a quick four question survey. We appreciate any feedback that you can share with us. Please sign up for more sessions. There are many more. Uh, also, this recording will be available as well as all the other ones uh, that are happening tonight at strivescan.com backslash St. Louis for school. And with that, have a wonderful evening, everyone. And again, thank you to our presenters. Thank you.